There are two ways to create zoom effect. The basic method. Hit Shift 5 to go to the Effect Controls panel. Use the scale under Motion. Click the stopwatch next to scale to activate the first keyframe. Jump forward 5 frames by holding Shift and right arrow. Change the scale parameter to 150. You now have a very basic zoom effect. This looks fine but not polished. Advanced method. With motion blur added. Hit Shift 7 to go to the effects panel. Search for an effect called transform. Drag the transform effect to your clip then hit Shift 5 to go back to the effect controls panel. Now, instead of using the scale under motion, use the scale under transform. Hit the stopwatch to activate the first keyframe. Then hold Shift and right arrow to jump forward 5 frames. Change the scale parameter to 150. One important note. Untick the use composition's shutter angle. Change the shutter angle to 180. When you play the footage frame by frame you can see the transform effect adds a little motion blur while you zoom in the shot. It creates a sense of movement not like the basic method. In the basic method there is absolute no motion blur. The shutter angle serves like a motion blur intensity. More motion blur introduced when you increase the shutter angle. At 45 degree you can barely see any motion blur. However, at 360 degree, you can see there are a lot more motion blur than previous. Last but not least, if you want Premiere to zoom at a certain part of the image, say the woman's back, simply click the Transform in Effect Controls panel. In the Program Monitor, you can see there is a little cursor right in the middle of the image. Drag the cursor towards the woman. It will reveal black bars around your footage. Do not worry. In the Effect Controls panel, change the new coordination numbers in position to match the ones from Anchor Point. 2, 2, 6, 7.8, 1, 4, 0, 0.8. Here is the final result. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.